New People is the brand new Netflix original film, which hit Netflix uh, two weeks ago. The film is about a character named Ezra, played by Jonah Hill, who also is one of the co-writers of the screenplay for the movie. Ezra is a struggling podcaster who is also Jewish, and he falls in love with Amira, played by Lauren London. Um, and after six months into their relationship, they want to get engaged. But now they finally want to take the time and meet their families. First, they meet Jonah Hill, uh, Ezra's family, uh, Shelly and Arnold, played by Julia Lee Dreyfus and David Duchovny, who, again, Jewish parents and want to learn more about Black people. And then you have Lauren London's parents, played by Eddie Murphy, who's Akbar, and Fatima, played by Nia Long, who are Muslim. Um, as the film goes on, Eddie Murphy's character, Akbar, just does not believe that Ezra is the right person for his daughter and tries every single way possible to avoid Ezra to marrying Amira, while Shelly, Ezra's uh, mother, tries to also learn more about Black culture by being with Amira more often. The film is two hours long and is rated R. Welcome back to a brand new movie review here at Max. We're talking about you people. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, movie rankings, box office breakdown show. Comment down below. I know I'm late to the party on you people. So what are your thoughts on this movie? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Not like it? Uh, if you have not seen it, let me know. What are your thoughts? Are you going to wait for this movie for a particular time? Uh, was the hype a bit overwhelming? And then obviously not great critic-wise. Let me know, is that why you have not checked out this movie yet? And please like the video, guys, the thumbs up on that's how you support this channel. So for me, this is one of my most anticipated movies early in 2023. I loved all of the trailers leading into this film. And it just seems pure genius. The concept isn't like the most original concept. Um with a couple who um, their parents just both sides just don't are in this kind of awkward, cringe-worthy situation. And the thing that gets added really into this mix is that every scene is basically basically about religion, race, um, all these different things. Um, and Jonah Hill's character, Ezra, has a you know podcast that he's trying to build. And it's all about the culture and finding what the culture is. Um, so I was really anticipating this movie. Jonah Hill is one of my favorite actors um, ever. I just find him so, especially a comedic genius. I'm talking about comedic genius when you have Eddie Murphy in this film, uh, who, again, it's rare to see him in movies anymore. It's only his fourth film um, in the last decade. Um, so for him to, again, choose a project is very interesting. Again, Recently, he did obviously don't mind my name, but coming to America last year, so he just isn't in tons of movies anymore. So for me, when I see him in a movie, he must have really liked it to 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 jump on to the project. Um, obviously, Julia Julia Drivers, this cast is pretty star studded, really from top to bottom. And also, I was excited because Jonah Hill is credited as a co writer with Kenya Barris. Now, Kenya Barris is the co-writer of this movie and he's also the director this is his first feature film as a director but he's known for creating um blackish the emmy award-winning writer for blackish um and he also has credits creating grownish um as well he also wrote coming to america the sequel to coming to america other films like the witches shaft and most notably uh girls trip so this is his first time behind the camera for a feature film but as I said, Jonah Hill isn't just the actor here. He's also the co-writer of the screenplay. Um, he's written his own films like mid-90s, but he's also written, he's had story credits on Why Him, Sausage Party, and both Jump Street movies. So for me, he's also a very talented writer, other than obviously being an extremely gifted actor. And when you get these two comedic geniuses together, I was just assuming greatness. And we'll get into it in just a second. But... Um, let's go by positives, my negatives, and then my scores. For me, the positive with this movie is that there, this movie does have its moments, and there are times where the movie is very funny, and I was definitely laughing throughout the film. There were definitely aspects where I was laughing at, um, again, some personal knowledge. Again, this film deals with uh, a Jewish family, and I am Jewish, so um, you don't really get to see uh, this type of uh, you know Jewish families like this in these types of situations. 
so it, I, I was kind of laughing at a lot of the, the Jewish jokes that were kind of thrown out there throughout the entire film. Um, and some of the best cast in this movie is um, Julia Lee Dreyfus, who uh, epitomizes the the Jewish mother, I think, in a lot of situations. And I think a lot of people are going to find her character very funny. Um, but I would say for the most, I was definitely laughing. There's a great scene in the car that isn't thankfully in the trailer between um, Jonah Hill and Eddie Murphy about a particular song. And it is hilarious. And it's my favorite scene in the whole movie. It's so funny um, that I, I was dying laughing. It was very, very effective joke. Um, obviously the cast is fantastic. You're, it's it's watchable in itself because the cast is so good in this movie. Jonah Hill, Eddie Murphy are obviously very good. I do have an issue with Murphy's character, which we'll get into in, in the negatives. Um, as I said, Julie Dreyfus uh, is also very funny. I also thought Lauren London is really great in this movie. She's not someone who acts a ton um, recently, uh, really at all. Um, and it's really good to see her because she's excellent in this movie and what has to make the movie at least work for some part is her chemistry with Jonah Hill and they both have fabulous chemistry together uh, which really keeps the movie going uh, of course David Duchovny also is solid and Neil Long are solid but both of them are very much sidelined because it's really about the Jonah Hill Eddie Murphy dynamic and Lauren London and Julia Lee Dreyfus dynamics that really carry the movie um, so again they're in it when they're they're good when they're in it and I do, obviously, I like this concept a lot, um, especially in this time. You don't really see these kind of very much dry humor, risky type humor where they're in very cringeworthy situations talking about Black people, talking about Jewish people, um, white people, all these things, Muslim people, they throw a lot of things at you that you just don't see in this era of comedy anymore. And obviously I assume some people are probably gonna take this too seriously. Um, they're not trying to make any offense to any type of culture or people at all throughout the film. I think they're in a fun way poking fun um, at these people. And I think a lot of people these days don't really take that as comedy anymore and get offended by that. So if you're to that person who does get offended by that type of humor, I would probably stay away from you people. I don't, I really like poking fun at particular things. And again, I'm Jewish, so poking fun at Jewish people I thought was a, a nice way to, to get me to be into the movie. Um, so I like that type of humor. So that's why I was kind of sucked in. And I really do like Jonah Hill and Eddie Murphy um, in their own. But for me, this movie is going to go down for me as one of the most disappointing films of the year. I know we're only in uh, the first week of February, but it is an extremely disappointing film uh, because it should have been great. It should have been one of the best comedies you'll see all year long. It has all the pieces to it, but it doesn't. It's one of the most cringeworthy and annoying films I've seen in a long time. I don't think this is an awful movie or will be in anywhere near worst of the year, but this is just not what I was expecting heading in. Um, the movie is, is a mixture of two things too uh, with its length. It's two hours long. The movie's way too long. And the reason why you feel that is the movie just goes so quickly and it just keeps going and going and going with the same exact bits back and forth. It feels like every scene is just rinse and repeat. Scene after scene after scene is the exact same. The Jonah Hill, Eddie Murphy dynamic doesn't change until the last 20 minutes of the movie. Um, the Lauren Lund and Julie Drivers, that is the same dynamic throughout the entire film. It just gets repetitive. Where, jo where Eddie Murphy kind of questions Jonah Hill and Jonah Hill keeps talking and talking to defend himself. Eddie Murphy throws him another thing, defend himself. Julie Dreyfus asks too many questions that are definitely cringeworthy and Lauren London has to sit there and react to her. That's kind of the, the majority of the movie. And once you kind of get through the first act of the movie and you've seen these bits a couple of times, the movie gets really repetitive and annoying as it goes out because they just... There isn't many creative juices flowing for more unique situations to keep on happening. And I think the biggest, the biggest thing of that, the problem with this movie is the script written by Barris and Hill, who are some of the most capable comedic writers right now in Hollywood, but they've committed a script where just 
every single conversation that takes place in this movie involves race, involves culture, it involves religion. It just every single conversation to a point where sometimes you just these people just don't talk like this in every sense of their life. Every time you see Joni Hill and Lauren London, they're talking about those type of things. Obviously, every time you get the families together, they talk about it. It just is so repetitive that there just isn't another end to this movie. The movie has this concept of the religion and the race and the idea of a mixed race family against different religions and all of these things. But it's literally every single scene. There isn't another characteristic to any of these characters except for their race and religion. I think that's a big problem with this movie is that Joan Hill's just a white Jewish guy who's a struggling podcaster. And Julie Lee Drivers is the Jewish mother. And Eddie Murphy's the black Muslim dad. There just isn't any other qualities to these characters. And I think that's why this movie hurts substantially for me. And it's why it's so frustrating because, again, these actors are capable and they're very funny in the movie. In the movie, I was definitely laughing throughout the entire movie. And that's why I'm going to say that it's not going to be one of the worst movies I've seen. This I did, there are some great moments in this movie of comedy, um, but it's just rinse and repeat. And for such original writers that this movie has, they just keep going and going and going. I thought this movie drags a lot to be two hours long. And what sucks is that when the movie tries to get serious and tries to tell its messages, it's just too late because the movie is literally trying to be comedy, comedy, comedy for the whole movie. And then when it tries to go serious, it just feels so out of tone. And I'm not saying comedy movies can't be serious. Of course they can be serious. But this movie goes into so to levels of comedy, trying to poke fun at all these different types of people. And then when it tries to announce its messages, it just feels forced um, and just unnecessary in the tone of the movie. I know it wants to convey these messages and I'm all for that. But for me, it waited way too late to start talking about the messages that this movie was trying to convey. So for me, I was laughing throughout the entire film and I love this cast. But this will go down for me as one of my most disappointing films of the year. It's too repetitive, it's too annoying. And a lot of cool characters who I thought could have had more screen time like Nia Long and David Duchovny's character get completely sidelined for big portions of the movie. And they're all just one dimensional characters. And the Jonah Hill and any Murphy dynamic and the Lauren London Julie Dreyfus dynamics just don't change throughout the entire film. It's this feels like the same scene you're watching every scene. That's a bit of a disappointment for me. So I'm going to give you people a two out of five stars. I am going to go 38% for you people. Uh, just not for me. Um, this movie that I was really, and I'm a huge, I love dark comedy and those type of movies that really stretch, you know, push the needle over the line of a bit. But for me, this was just not for me and a very much a disappointment for me on Netflix. So that's my review of You People. I hit Netflix a couple of weeks ago. What are your thoughts on You People? Please like the video, subscribe, ring the bell if you're new to the channel. Like the video. More videos are coming, including Saturday. I'll get my review of episode five of The Last of Us. My Boss Loves Breakdown show will be on Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll have another review of The Bad Batch and more movies, including my Ant-Man and the Waz Quantum Mania reviews are coming next week as well. So please subscribe, ring the bell. And I'll see you guys soon.